I'm scared to talk to strangers, but today I'm going to talk to as many strangers as possible. Already before this recording, I was rejected by three people. Two of those were cabbies. Um, I'm nervous and intimidated, and that's to say the least, but uh, let's do this. Enzo, uh, Elise. Elise, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in Manchester for? Oh, all my life. All um, your life? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've I've been to places yeah. <laughs> and stuff, and I lived in Spain for two years, um, but wow. yeah, like, more or less all my life. Uh, well, I live in, um, I moved to Manchester in uh, 2002. 2002, so it's been a while. It's been a while, yeah, yeah. What's made you stay? Oh, my other half's got a job here. Yeah. Um, I've sort of um, moved here because of nursing. I, I was a nurse. So, uh, nurse for 30, 38 years. So, I retired a few years ago. So, um, I'm sort of uh, staying to uh, do my photography, really. Oh, let's zoom out. So, uh, this Cafe Nero bar looks like chocolate. Look at, look at the walls. Don't they look like chocolate? Manchester's doing something right. I just came out to do some shopping, grab a coffee, and I'm meeting my friend for lunch later, so yeah. And I only learned about the V in recent years from the Ariana Grande concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I didn't know, I learned this the other day, it was a thing way before the yeah. Ariana Grande concert. So. Yeah, I got, I, I got a, a B tattoo when I was 14, which really? I, should, I really shouldn't have done. Oh um, my God. But yeah. So Where yeah, is it? It's on my back of my head. Oh. Can I see? Yeah, yeah look. Can I? <laughs> yes, yeah. it's so good. <laughs> stamp of approval. <laughs> it's like the Manchester, you've been here, yeah. you're a, well, you've lived here, you're yeah, allowed my, to. Yeah, it's my proof. Yes. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Can you easily find people, friends here, and hobbies? and Being brute. Um, you can be brutally yeah, honest. Yeah, I'm being brutally That's honest. What I'm yeah, for. okay, great. So for me, I think it's. It's all down to you. If you if you're up to networking and putting yourself out there, then I think you've got a great chance. But like someone like me, it took me a while to kind of find confidence and like find a secure friendship group and stuff. So I I feel like I could have done a better job at that. But I think there are everything you need is out there. It's just whether you can, you know, utilize all the group chats and yeah. clubs and you know all that kind of thing yeah. you lived in Spain and decided to come back I don't I don't know like bring you know bring the vibe down but yeah. no I came back because my mum had died and oh. I didn't want my dad to be lonely my condolences so, <laughs> oh it was ages ago it's like eight yeah. years ago but it's still but it's still yeah, rests yeah it's there still there somewhere. it's still there yeah but yeah I um yeah so I came back just so to make sure he wasn't lonely <laughs> That's such a wonderful, kind-hearted thing of you to do. That's so lovely. And how is he getting on now? Is he a bit better? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's good. He's got his little crew of friends and Excellent. stuff. And, and he's... how are you? Like, how are you doing? Like, oh. a new place? Yeah, good. I mean, miss Spain a lot. I yeah. mean, this was, like, eight years ago I oh, came okay. back. But, um, but yeah. I still miss it, still miss it. Yeah. Like I walk past the tapas bars and I smell the smells and I see the little beers and, and I think, yeah. oh, what? Yeah. I used to do a lot of uh, weekends or oh, Saturday nights, Sunday nights. Mm. You see a lot going on there. Oh, it's, mm. Especially the homeless people, they get a rough, rough job out of there. Yeah. And yeah. you were saying earlier how homeless people um, talk to you. Oh, I have. I know them all. They call me, I meet them every, morning, every morning, I see them. I always say hello, good morning, blah, blah, blah. I always say hello to them. Because the poor buggers are the pushing pillar of the post. Mm. You know, they're not the choosing to be a homeless or not. Right? Mm. You know, it's That's, sad. Yeah. Because they are someone else's kid. They're someone else's baby. Mm. You know, that could be one of my kids or your kids. That's someone's child. Yeah. You know, and people walk by them in the doorways as, as that's a piece of, piece of rubbish. Mm. It's totally wrong. Yeah. You know. Is there a big homeless problem in Manchester? I've walked in here a long, long time. I want to say there's a good, there'll be five or seven thousand people homeless here in Manchester. Oh my god. Um, hello. Hi. Um, and who might you be? I'm your sister. Oh my gosh. It's my sister who lives in Manchester. How long have you been here? Um, about five, six years in total. And what's made you stay here? Other people, the culture, the creativity, um, The diversity. <laughs> it's basically just one of the best places on earth. 
people have been saying it's like a mini London. Am I am I right in saying that? Well, I wouldn't say that. I, I think it's like all the best things of London condensed into a small place with friendlier people. You can get around easier and take away all of the annoying commute times and uh, rudeness. As well, it sounds really sad, but I don't mean it in like an awfully sad way, but it's crazy how there's so many people here, but you can feel lonely, you know, like among everyone. So yeah, I think it's just about putting yourself out there and just being confident. And I think that will draw people to you. There you're from London. Uh, well, I, li- I do live in London, yeah. I'm yes, from the from south of Italy, Italy where, where there's oh, confusion. Oh, south of Italy? Yeah, Napoli, yes. So it's, you come from Napoli yeah. where it's warm It's warm, and it's warm and it's confusion and, and it's theatre is everywhere. So, you yeah. decide to come here. Well, I decided 22 years ago, 23 years ago now. Oh. So it was like, um, yeah. But you've only been in Manchester for a few days. For a few days, for a few days. That's in my, let's say, my six, seven times I come to Manchester. <gasps> and I never had a chance to... Um, to, to go around in the daytime because mm. obviously I come here to work. So, yeah. but the nighttime in Manchester is good. It's good, and you go in places. You don't have to pay. They don't ask you what type of shoes you got, and it's absolutely nice. It's, it's, it's lovely. It's refreshing. Refreshing. From, yes. Compared from a to London, London. From a Londoner, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from a Londoner. Because yes. London for me is too and scary, it's, too busy. It's, it's very political, yeah. But it's, it's also a great city. So. Are you going to go back to Spain? Hopefully. I don't think so now. No. But, well, firstly. Brexit happened, yes. so it's more difficult. Yeah. And then I got terminal cancer. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, so how 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 are you? Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. No, well, well, really well. You're like, really well. It was like three years ago I got diagnosed, and I'm still not dead. So you're still here, yeah. and I've just met you taking photos on the street. And yeah. what a wonderful thing to to do. Can I ask your name? I haven't even asked yeah, you. Yeah, it's your name. Carol. Carol. And yours is Elise. It is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there's loads. There's loads in Manchester. Lo- uh, buildings, people. Um, sight, sound, scenes. Um, it's quite sort of metropolitan, I think. Uh, lots of lots of different people around. So yeah, it's very interesting. Um, every time I come out, I find something something different to photograph. Well, where it's good around here that you? Uh, spending fields is quite good. Uh, the Spen- spending, spinning, 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 fields, spinning fields, spinning fields. Yeah, that? that's quite a up and up and coming place, I suppose. Okay. Um, yeah, it's by sort of down by Dean's Gate. Okay. Yeah? I have no idea what oh, right, okay. I'm so new. I just got off the train. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. Actually, I don't know whether I'll change anything about Manchester. Oh, I, li- I like it as it is. That's so sweet. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, got, it's got old, it's got new, it's got characters. The, pe- the people are really good, I think. Um, you know, I don't think I'll change anything about it, really. I would change the, cent- the very centre of the city, Piccadilly Gardens. Mm. Like years and years ago, like decades ago, it was so beautiful, and now it's just a total mess. And when people walk down from the train station, it's the first thing they see, and yes. they must think it's so horrible. This is exactly what happened to me today. Yeah, and you're like, this is vile. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got off and I thought, wow, Piccadilly Gardens, that sounds amazing. Yeah. I went there, no, and no, no. yeah, no, it's not that great. It's, it's not great. <laughs> It's Sorry, great. Manchester. It, yeah, it's. We used to have actual fountains there, and some people used to just like let the kids run in them and stuff, and they'd be like strange men yeah. watching. Oh, creepy! Really creepy. Oh, so creepy. So yeah, just clean up yes. Piccadilly Gardens for God's sake. Uh, two weeks ago, there was a homeless lad, a friend of mine. He passed away up there. So I went to his funeral yesterday morning down here in the gay village. My condolences. We, I just went down and showed my condolences to him. Because he was homeless, but he was a friend of mine. He's a, he's a person that I knew, darling, you know. Where, where, where other people would walk by and spit on him. Not me. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. I don't mean no, to. No, I said you the truth, love. No, no, no. Because it's truth. really tough. It is hard, And it's yes. so easy to talk about all the good things about Manchester, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah, it? And yeah, then, yeah, But you see such a different side. I've seen a lovely side of that, and I have a lovely side of it. Thank God I have a lovely side of it. But I've also seen a very, very sad side of it too. Yeah. And it's rough it is for them, it is. Very rough for them. Yeah. Deep breath, square yeah. up, just shake that person's hand and tell them it's not the end of the world, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's, yeah. And you know. I, I have to ask as well, since you've been here for such Hello, a while. Hello, how's it going, my friend? I've done it already. You do it already? Yeah, that's great, already. my friend, yeah. Yes, that's another good friend of mine. And, Wonderful. And he was a homeless lad too, but now he's back on his feet. Now he's back on his feet. He's on his feet, And you've yeah. seen that And transition. he's called me, he calls me Uncle Morphy, yes. Oh, that's yes. so sweet. Yeah. I, thought, oh. I know I'll be there. Oh, my 
goodness. So you've been here since the 80s. Yeah. How has Manchester changed since the 80s for you? Uh, for Better me? or worse? <laughs> I think it lost worse. It's got worse? I think it got worse. Oh. Okay. How? In crime. In crime. In crime. It's a crime cut very high in Manchester. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it is, yeah. You know, I was talking to two ladies earlier who mentioned that there was a knife crime down that way, in near Piccadilly Gardens, where we are, in broad daylight. Yes, that's an, that's, that's an ongoing thing, that is. That's a sorry. That's an ongoing thing. An ongoing thing. Yeah, there was somebody been there was somebody been stabbed up there last night on the Parmel down there. Same borough, same town, same city, north, east, south, west. Mm. When things go well, as well as unfortunately when things go wrong or bad, we do kind of band together. What makes you a mank? I'd say. Do you know what I mean? Is that the term for yeah, Manchester you're a people? Yeah, Manc. Yeah, okay. You, you, if you could change anything about the city, what would it be? Stop the rent prices going up, because everyone's figuring out how great it is here, and um, it means everyone wants to move here, and everything's getting more expensive. So that would be great to just put a stop to that. <laughs> I can see the pull of it because it's flatter than Sheffield, and Sheffield. One of the awkward things is commuting and getting around and walking. Like you're gonna have. Um, trouble if you aren't very fit to get up some of the hills and here it's just completely flat which I personally don't like. A counterpoint we are close to both the Peak District and the Lake District whereas Sheffield you have to drive away further to get to the Lake District so if you want hills come on. Damn. Counterpoint Sheffield um, feels like a small town instead of a big city True. and so if you're really nervous about big cities like I am um, then it's a little bit nicer in Sheffield, but I really like your counterpoint. Go for it. <laughs> Fight me. What I would say is, is that Manchester is in the, in kind of a similar way to London. To not agree with everyone else, but it, to make a little comparison, there are different areas of the city with completely different vibes that feel like uh, their own kind of mini communities. Um, so just find your place, find your people, and then you'll, you'll still feel that way, I think. So yes, there's yeah. lots of, if you're into street art, there's loads of street art around. Brilliant. Thank you, Ian. Thank you very much. And enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, well, I'm going to take a picture now. Oh, that's my okay. goodness. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I would Why like not? that a lot. I like my picture view. Oh, do you? Right. Yeah, okay. no, that's I'm good. Insane, so. <laughs> Can I just say thank you so much for being so open to me? Normally I don't <laughs> oh, get as oversharing. many... oversharing. <laughs> Absolutely not, no. I don't think there's such a thing as oversharing, really. Um, I am also I am a, a chronic sharer. oversharer. Oh, no, I think it's really wonderful. It's Carol, isn't it? Yeah. It's really wonderful. Um, are you getting on OK in Manchester now compared to three yeah, years ago, I have definitely. to ask? Definitely. Yeah. 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 The care's been good. Oh, really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Christie, it's one of the best cancer hospitals. Well, definitely in the country, maybe, maybe in the world. I don't know. So that's it's a really good thing about Manchester that I'm learning. Then it's got really good cancer hospitals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I won't take up too much of your time, but if you want to talk about your photography more, then that's I'm very happy. Oh, to do. there's not much to talk about. Oh, honestly, I just walk around and just yeah. I'm just doing like a part-time college course type oh, thing. Fantastic! Thank you so much for talking no, to me today. Is it alright if I give you a hug? Is of that course, strange? Of course. Oh, thank you. Oh, lovely to meet you. Have yeah, a wonderful I'll day. Check out your work. And, yeah. and it stopped raining now. Your name. Thank you. <laughs> and it stopped raining now, so you can actually go out and get some nice yeah. pictures. Yeah. A few years ago, there was a Polish lad I knew very well, and the born of alive in the tent. They sorry. The bone them alive in the tent. Boned him. Boned him. Put the tent in fire. Polish. And boned them in it. Yeah, alive. Yeah. A Polish lad I knew. Yeah. That's awful. Oh, yeah. Christ. That's his true. Yeah. And that happened down in Deansgate. Any positive stories? Oh, I want to say that they have two of the best football clubs in the world. In the world to have. <laughs> to have yeah. And there's a football match tomorrow. I yeah, guess. yes, that's yeah. right. There's a big game on the mar, but I don't follow it. Young. Yeah, me neither. I don't. I don't, I don't follow it, but. Seamus, I'd like to buy you a coffee. Thank you, but no thanks. No, I, or tea. Because I'll only say that you're bribing me, love. No, I'm <laughs> saying it as a thank you. But you have good confidence in yourself, love. I would like, can I give you my card as well, if you'd like to email me? Thank you so much for coming along to be interviewed. That's okay. Is there anything else you wish to say? 
Um, no, I just um, want to say I've been supporting number one fan since day one and um, everyone comment below with your favorite thing about my sister because she is so talented, she is so skillful and um, we need to make her career explode. So help me out guys. <laughs> so I've spoken to probably around 20 strangers today, um, half of which uh, rejected me and the other half were very happy to talk, all of which said that the weather is the worst thing about Manchester. And if the weather is the worst thing about Manchester, then I think it's probably got something really going for it as a city. Manchester oh. people seem really stressed out to me. Everyone on the street seems very stressed right now. Um, everyone I talk to seems a little bit um, stressed out. Not everyone, actually. But compared to Sheffield, Sheffield people from where I live, Sheffield people feel really relaxed. Here, people are... The, the vibe felt slightly on edge, and I can't help but feel that the weather might be a connection to that, so... <laughs> who knows thank you for watching hopefully next time i'll be less socially awkward and together we will make it through thank thank you goodbye <laughs>